At the edge of a spa park, this gorgeous building is located. Once it was used as a sanatorium and also a huge theater as part of the building complex. After 15 years of vacancy, the interior offers great motives for photos, as well as a unique glance at the past. Join us on a travel back in time. This is another bonus episode, which takes place somewhere in Germany. This impressive building had been on our Urbex bucket list for years. Although it has been abandoned for around 15 years now, luckily there are no damages caused by vandalism so far. Though the whole furnishings has been removed by now. Only a few objects are left inside the building, but a variety of details can still be discovered here. One of the many highlights of this place is the entrance hall. Apart from the pillars, it's also characterized by an impressive wall picture. This is just one section of the picture, but it already reveals a bounty of details. constructed in the 1950s. Because of the nearby thermal spring, this location was just perfect for a sanatorium. Back then, those doors, windows and the balcony were all made of solid oak. The centerpiece of the building is this huge theater hall. By the way, if you want to see all our photos, you should take a look on our pages on Facebook and Instagram. The hall has enough space to seat over 500 people. The acoustics in this room are so good that even radio recordings were produced here back then. Nothing but natural decay. That's exactly what urban explorers love to see. If you look closely, you can even recognize the inscriptions on the old equipment.
There were several dressing rooms for the actors on multiple floors. But not all the rooms were in such a pristine condition as this one. Apparently, the huge theater hall was used to show movies as well. After a while, we found this massive film projector from a bygone era. For approximately 15 years, the building has been standing empty. Unfortunately, we don't know the reason for that. But we guessed there was no demand anymore, and the trend of time had simply been missed. After it was abandoned, people were desperately looking for a new owner. But as it seems, nobody dares to invest in this huge building complex. Although there had been a plan to await this historical sanatorium from its deep slumber a few years ago, the buyer never paid. So the redevelopment failed. The building was supposed to be turned into a sports medical rehabilitation center. And now the ravages of time are taking their toll. The beautiful glass pavilion has lost the former glance. In the last few months a terrible storm caused great damage here. The historical stuccoed ceiling was nearly entirely destroyed. Every winter damages the place more and more. It won't take long until the former sanatorium can't be rescued anymore. Today, 65 years after its construction, the building faces an uncertain future. Next week on Broken Window Theory. In the middle of nowhere, we found an abandoned hunter's home. While we were trying to unveil its story, we made several unexpected discoveries. We hope you enjoyed this bonus episode. In just a week, we will upload the next Urbex Adventure. This time we will be exploring another abandoned home with all the furnishings left behind. Don't miss that one guys. <laughs>